Biography written by Ohida. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was born on the 17th of March 1920 and assassinated on the 15th of August 1975. He was an indomitable politician before and after the birth of Bangladesh. He was an orator. His speech on 7th of March 1971 was unprecedented in Bengali history and it made him the driving force behind the independence of Bangladesh. He was commonly so popular that his name changed into Bangabandhu, friend of Bengal. He became the idol in the eyes of the countrymen and eventually, the leader of the Awami League, founded in 1949 as an East Pakistan based political party in Pakistan. His contributions convinced the populace to consider him Jatir Janak, the father of the nation. His life was shortened by the assassination but his daughter Sheikh Hasina carried on his leadership as the most influential leader and now is the Prime Minister of Bangladesh. He was virtually a charismatic orator. He was a balanced and an impartial leader. He showed his equal importance to ethnicity and tried to make the nation free from institutional discrimination. He chalked out a six-point autonomy plan and was jailed by the regime of Field Marshal Ayub Khan. He led the Awami League to win the first democratic election of Pakistan in 1970. Even after winning a majority, the League could not form a government. The country became a place of suppression and partiality. As a result, he had to announce independence of Bangladesh through 7th March speech. On the 26th of March 1971, the Pakistan army used its power in the name of Operation Searchlight. Mujib was arrested and kept him confined in West Pakistan. Indiscriminately, Bengali civilians, students, intellectuals, politicians and military rebels were killed as part of the 1971 Bangladesh genocide. Mujib was absent, so what? Bengalis from all walks of life joined the Mukti Bahini, fought indomitably and ousted Pakistan armed forces. Bangladesh was born and Mujib was freed from Pakistani jail because of international pressure. He returned to Dhaka in January 1972 after a short visit to Britain and India. Sheikh Mujib was made the Prime Minister under a parliamentary procedure by the new country. His government formed a constitution based on socialism and secular democracy. And the Awami League accomplished a huge success in the first general election in 1973. Unfortunately, Mujib ran with difficulties for the prevalent unemployment, poverty and corruption. An economic disaster prevailed in the country in 1974. His government was censured for various human rights violations by its security forces. Political unrest followed and at one point, Mujib introduced one-party socialist rule in January 1975. Half a year later, he and most of his family members were murdered by renegade army officers during a coup. Subsequently, a martial law government emerged. Still after a long time in 2004 in the BBC poll, Mujib was voted the greatest Bengali of all time. Mujib was born in Tunjipara village under Gopal Ganj district. He was the third child, four sisters and one brother. Mujib was in class 3 at Gopal Ganj public school in 1929 and two years later at Madaripur Islamia high school in class 4. His leadership was impressive since then. He even organized a protest to remove the principal. In 1934 he left school and underwent eye surgery and returned to school four years later. Actually the surgery was really serious. He passed matriculation from Gopal Ganj Missionary School in 1942, Intermediate of Arts from Islamia College, now Maulana Azad College, in 1944 and BA from the same college in 1947. He took admission in Dhaka University to study law. Later he was expelled from the university in early 1949 on the charge of inciting the fourth class employees for their legitimate rights. Interestingly, in 2010, 61 years later, the expulsion was proven unjust and undemocratic. As a student of Islamia College Muji became politically active and joined the All India Muslim Students Federation in 1940. Then he joined the Bengal Muslim League in 1943. 
he used to work actively for the League's cause of a separate Muslim state of Pakistan. In 1946 he became General Secretary of the Islamia College Students' Union. M. Bhaskar Naya describes Mujib emerged as the most powerful man in the party since he resembled with Hussein Shahid Surawardi in the light of leadership. He passed BA in 1947 and worked under Surawardi during the communal violence which broke out in Calcutta in 1946 just before the partition of India. The video and the script by Ohida, Assistant Professor of English and Director, Language Center. University of Information Technology and Sciences. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.